Hey all, Kurt Sasser here from TGT Web Comments on C2E2, day number two here. We're here with Rob from Earth World. I mean, Rob, this is a great convention. I'm glad to see you guys here. Tell us what Earth World is all about. Oh, all right. Earth World is a, uh, a fantasy comedy comic. Uh, it's set in a game-like fantasy universe. You didn't tell me where to look. Should I be looking over here? <laughs> Hi, everybody at home. Or should I look at you as if uh, we're matter. engaged in a... Well, we're, well like, we're at this beautiful sunset. Yeah. Yeah, here, so. okay. You know, it really is. Yeah. You, know, I, you know what? I actually want to crush this guy. Can I crush him? Yeah, sure. Right. I can crush him. There. Yeah. My tiny Perfect. thumb. All right. There well, you go. I'm sorry. I'm not taking this very seriously. Okay. No, I am. Uh, Earth World, it's a, a fantasy comic about a game-like universe where uh, the war happens in turns and people, uh, people know how far they can move and how many hexes they can go and that sort of thing. And, but other than that, it's a serious war. And uh, our hero is a game from our universe who's summoned into this world against his will, kind of. Um, and uh, he's forced to be a, uh, a general for the bad guys. So am I, am I drifting out of frame? I'm sorry. All right, well, that was my good side anyway. So. I'm a professional. <laughs> This is great. This is right. good stuff. You need some comedy in, in, yeah. in well, life. Say, I do so. comedy music also, actually. Oh, really? uh, yeah, I, I actually had the number three most requested song on the Dr. Demento show last year. Oh, no way. Yeah, uh, it was called Gamer Funk, actually. <laughs> and you can imagine what that's about. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of it here among us. Be glad this isn't scratch and sniff video. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Smelly Smelly C2E2. No, it's a re actually not that bad. It's not Gen Con. Believe <laughs> okay, I'll take your word for that. This is our first convention, but you know, you know, this is C2E2. It's an inaugural convention. You know, Earth World's here. You know, you have the fantasy aspect. You have the comedy, a bit of it, but you take a serious note to everything with it. But you try and not dwell on that as much as you as, as some comics would. Well, no, the core story is it's quite serious. I mean, it's a war story, you know, and. Um, the, the the gags are, are are on every page, and we're you know, but I consider them ornamental to the writing. I mean, the, the characters drive the story. The situation is grim for everyone, um, and it's about a world that's constantly at war anyway. So I mean, that's a grim subject, and it it has this kind of patina of cute over everything. But uh, you know, that's that's part of the theme, and uh, that dichotomy is is part of the appeal for the readers, and, and it makes it fun to write. But I don't forget, you know, that it's a, that, that it's a real war, you know. So, so with everything that you've done with Earth World, um, you know, you have a lot of merchandise. We'll, we'll get some shots of that as well. But, uh, you know, why C2E2? Why, why this type of downtown local convention? Well, it's a, um, you know, it's a trend in comics conventions, I think, that uh, you're seeing larger expos like this. Uh, there's a... Piece of atmosphere. Sorry, now we, now we can. <laughs> you're seeing, you're seeing louder expos like this, larger expos like this. Uh, but no, you come here uh, because of the professional contacts and because you know for the fans it's great that that there's so much here uh, such a broad range of interests served by all of these various publishers and content providers and you know, C2E2 is doing a, 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 a real um, service to web comics by having a web comic pavilion here among you know the, the print and everything and, and I, I I'm very impressed with um, you know their approach to who they're inviting and, and everything so you know I'm, I'm happy to be here to participate well, with everything that's happening, though, you know, you got a great booth there. You have um, a lot of attractions towards your area, be based on the based on the Batmobile and, of course, the uh, DeLorean. But uh, I don't know how much crossover there is between the interest in the Batmobile and the interest in Earth World. But you know, so people can uh, can wander around and find new things. Is the whole deal, you know? So, so with C2E2 being this inaugural convention and Earth World's here, uh, and you seem to be enjoying yourself with everything. Everything. You know, once everything shuts down, the lights are off, you pack up all of your really cute dinosaurs there and everything like that. What personal experiences are you, are you going to be taking away from it? 
Oh, well, the interesting stuff that happens at conventions always happens behind the scenes. I mean, uh, the intangible benefits that I take besides meeting all of the fans and everything, and it's great because Earthworld's a deep story and people get into it very deeply. So when they come up to the table, we geek out together about, you know, obscure aspects of Earthworld and things like that. And that's always fun. But what I take away from these is always uh, the stuff that I've learned from the experiences of other creators in talking to people who have... Um, people who have walked between the, us and the camera, yeah, you know. Time, that's, time. <laughs> The uh, the experiences, trading experiences with other uh, creators is, uh, you know, the community aspects of it is it, it's very valuable to me. Definitely, and especially the social aspect of this type of convention. It's good to see that uh, that everyone's taken heart to whatever we're show, whatever C2E2 is showing too. Well, I mean, I would say even the more uh, professional uh, sides of that. It's it's you know the social is wonderful. It's it's great to see guys. Uh, I do as many as 20 conventions a year, and so I know a lot of these guys already. I know that I know them fairly well, but um, the the fact that we can trade numbers that we're not, you know, things that you wouldn't even say on a panel, where I'm saying, okay, well, we've had this experience with advertising, and somebody else is saying, well, we've had this experience with publishing. There's a lot of um, good information exchange that you can't do online and you can't do uh, remotely. So, you know, that's that's always the, the best, you know, sales are sales and that's fine and we certainly do come here to sell some plushies and and shirts and things like that, but uh, I, what I always take away from these is, is the information. Well, you know, Rob, I just want to thank you so much for coming on this interview here. I, it's a pleasure to finally meet you and speak with you. And uh, what's the website for Earthworld? Oh, earthworld.com or robbalder.com uh, will take you to the other stuff I do, including the comedy music. So. Perfect. I, I definitely want to hear that. <laughs> I make places because I've been looking at you now. And I'm, yeah, well, I'm not that pretty to look no, at. No, it's like, well, neither's the camera, but I assume the folks at home are pretty. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rob. I appreciate it. Bye.